Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. So as you can see, we have rallied the last uh, three days. We did break down significantly down here, down to uh, 28K, and now we're trading at the 34K. So right underneath the middle of the bullish band, and uh, yes, it's going to be a question whether or not we break above here. Uh, this rally was completely anticipated due to the fact that we were significantly oversold in this market and also overstretched. So usually when it gets overstretched here, it pounces back and then it can it drops lower if it's going to drop lower. It still looks like we are trading within a square of the highs of roughly 31, 41k and now towards the very bottom here of a 28k. So until we basically break to the upside or break to the downside, uh, we are most likely going to trade within this range. So we could see this rally up towards a 50 moving average. The question is whether or not we get rejected at the 50 and then continue lower towards 25 or 20K. We have a crossing here of the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average, and that is not a bullish sign for this market. If this market is going to turn around, we'll probably see it in the next few weeks, but otherwise this will continue dropping to the lows and we'll rally up towards the 50 and then just continue going lower. That is kind of what it looks like at this current stage. Otherwise, technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is still in negative territory, but right at the signal line. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has a bounce from the 200 moving average. And I say bounce, this is not a very significant bounce considering how far we have fallen. This is considered as a fairly significant bounce. This is not. So if we rally, continue to rally from here, we'll probably run into resistance at the 20 exponential, roughly at 2280. Technical indicators, otherwise, MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, and CGI is bearish still, and it's turning around, but it's still underneath minus 100. And uh, RSI is bullish as well. So it is uh, unclear whether or not we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band and head towards the 50 moving average. If this continues, then we'll see the 20 go faster towards the 200. We'll also see the 50 go faster towards the 200. And if we have a crossing of those two, and this will almost certainly drop towards 1,000 and below and significantly lower than that. So at this current stage, doesn't look very promising at all. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has had a massive move to the upside. So this is a fairly uh, nice rally up towards the 20 exponential. And uh, we this was also expected as we were significantly overstretched and we were also touching the 200 moving average here and the RSI was very low. So all very good things uh, for the, basically a short term, a short term buy towards the resistance line again, which should be the 20 exponential and the middle of the bullish band. So we could see this break down yet again and then go sideways in the near future and we'll probably also see the 20 exponential go this way and uh, 200 move this way and at some point they will basically cross if bitcoin continues to go lower ethereum goes lower and so on then this will most certainly also go significantly lower if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bearish stochastic is bullish cci is bearish and the rsi is bullish at this point so let's look at litecoin so Litecoin has also tried to rally, not much of a rally to be fairly honest. Uh, we were significantly oversold here, also overstretched, and we have recovered a bit. So we could see this rally up towards the middle of the bullish band, 155 before going back towards 100. If that breaks, then we are going back towards these levels here of around 50. So the 50 moving average is racing towards the you know, 200 moving average here, and it's almost a certainty that we are going to see these two moving averages cross, as we did say the 20 and the 200 moving average cross. 
and that will be a fairly negative sign for this market. 20 exponential has been holding. We saw a rally here, broke down, rally here, broke down, and another rally up towards 155. That could mean that will drop back to 200 and probably towards the $50 range. So let's look at Neo. So very similar here, uh, we were significantly oversold and overstretched, have recovered a bit, haven't taken out the highs of this candlestick up at 36. There doesn't look like there's a lot of momentum here for most of these um, altcoins and so on. Uh, even for, for, for Bitcoin, even though it has rallied a bit, it, it still is far off the, the very highs of roughly this was up to $130, now we're at 30, uh, 34 So yes, there's definitely momentum to the downside. The 20 exponential and the 200 have crossed here. 50 will most likely also cross uh, in the beginning of June, uh, the 50 and the 200 moving average, and that will basically uh, pressure this uh, further to the downside. We're probably looking at the market if that were to happen at a market that's going towards uh, five to fifteen dollars, but it can happen at what all at once. This will become significantly overstretched and oversold, as we saw right here, and it will rally towards resistant, which is at the moment twenty exponential. We got rejected here, got rejected here, and a rally up towards the twenty exponential will most likely get rejected again and then push this back towards the to, uh, $22, 25 dollar range. So let's look at Dash. Dash, very similar, it's technically the same as for Bitcoin and for NEO. Got very overstretched, oversold, and is recovering now. But is a gradual grind towards uh, resistant, which is at 155. Uh, if we get rejected there, then we're going back towards one, uh, 100. 50 moving average, 200 moving average will mostly have a crossing here in the next few trading days. And that will basically be the catalyst for this to drop significantly lower. So let's look at Dogecoin. So it has uh, rallied quite a bit. Uh, we were it's very similar to uh, to uh, Cardano, where we have a, a candlestick that is significantly outside the bottom of the bullish band, testing the 200 moving average, while we also have uh, oversold conditions in the RSI. side. So uh, three indication that we are going to see a rally, and that's what we have seen the last few the last two trading days. The question is whether or not we rally above the 50 moving average or get rejected at the 20 exponential. So we could get rejected here, go back towards the 200 and just go back and forth until the 50 moving average crosses the 200 moving average. And that could mean that we'll drop back to the previous lows here of, of well, very, very low. So we're definitely in a downtrend and uh, these recoveries here are are not very impressive. We should see this recover at least to a half, and we haven't really seen that at this current stage. So it is mainly due to over uh, oversold and overstretched condition that we are seeing these bounces back to, to resistant. And it's uh, very likely that we are getting a reject, you know, rejected here around the 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.